All right, this is how you're gonna do this project. It's pretty straightforward, but I wanna make sure you have it. First, go ahead and open the assignment. You're gonna open our assignment. You're gonna pick one of these eras. You're gonna pick one of your thinkers. We'll do John Calvin just to demonstrate how it works. You're gonna take John Calvin's name. You're gonna go down. Here, you're gonna type in your actual Bible passage. So for me, we're gonna look at Matthew 5, 9. So you can see it. I'm gonna add John Calvin here. Boom, copy, paste. I've pasted John Calvin. Now, I'm going to go to a website called ccel.org. That's crucial, ccel.org. Once you're here, you can look around. You can do a bunch of other things, all right? But what we're going to end up settling on is going to the study Bible. This is the part that's going to make the most sense to you as you do it. So go up to study Bible, click on the study Bible, and it's going to take you right to your passage if you've already typed it in. If you haven't typed it in yet, you'll have to type it in once Study Bible opens. All right? So you're going to go open Study Bible. You're going to type in your passage, or you've already typed it in, and it's going to pull it up automatically. That's what happens here, right? So my passage is highlighted, Matthew 5, 9. That's what I'm looking for. Now, once you have this, you're going to go to this box where mine says reference. Yours might say commentaries. Yours might say something else. Whatever it says, click on it and go to references. All right, once you have references opened, now you're gonna scroll all the way down to commentaries. This is a long way down, stay with it. All right, go all the way down to commentaries. You're gonna go all the way down, keep on rolling. It's gonna take a little bit. Once you get to commentaries, then you're gonna look up the writer whose name you're using, right? So in this case, I'm looking up what John Calvin said. Now I'm gonna click on him, and this is everything he wrote about Matthew 5, 9. Okay, so now I'm going to scroll past the, the Bible part of it, right? This is just a copy of what the Bible says. Now I'm in his commentaries. Once I'm in his commentaries, I'm going to go all the way down to verse 9. I'm going to find something interesting in verse 9 that works. If I like this section, I'm just going to copy that out. And then I'll, I'll show you. I'll highlight the section I want, just like you normally would, and I'm going to copy it. You can do that by hitting Control and C. Or you can do it by just right-clicking. Either way, copy it. Boom. Once you have it copied, you've done the first part of this, and that's the, the trickiest part, right? This is the, you've, you're done with the hardest part. You go back to your assignment, open your assignment, and paste it. That's Control-V or Paste. Either way, that knocks it out, and now you're finished. You do that eight more times.